I when I hear people making certain arguments about experience with coaches and stuff, it's funny me. You are Okeku is telling me that he was a coach who has 15 years of experience. This guy's first his first ever coaching coaching uh, a job was 2021 at Clement Foot, that team B. Fast forward three years down the line, he's within the Afcon. What do you make of the entire Afcon final match? Oh, I think I think uh, both teams played very well, but. I was actually rooting for Nigeria. Uh, yeah, because I guess a Nigerian girlfriend. So, <laughs> so this this thing will make will give me some mood swings and things. But Cote d'Ivoire really deserved it. Like they really played their heart out. Like tonight you go explain tire, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. I go I go tire for the guy body. You understand? Yeah, man. <laughs> but Cote d'Ivoire winning, coming from third place, best to winning the Afcon. What do you make of the whole Afcon journey, Cote d'Ivoire? What's the win? Yeah, yeah, it'd be like, like you know, it'd be, it'd be very crazy because, you know, against, I think it was in Mali, they were down by, by four goals. It'd be very crazy for them to come back like this. And if if you are looking for uh, teams, teams with, with luck, Cote d'Ivoire is one of the, those teams. They really have luck, like they really get luck. But Nigeria, eh, they figure they do Afro beat for the pact of. So they play anything, but we they love them like that. You understand? Because of the, the relationship we have uh, with, with Nigeria. With your girlfriend. With my girlfriend. <laughs> Chairman, I heard you are Ivorian, true? No, I mean, I was support, I, I'm a Ghanaian, but I'm actually supporting Nigeria. Oh, okay. I thought you were Ivorian. I wanted us to continue this interview in French. No, no, no. Hey, I can't speak French. <laughs> anyway, but what do you make of the play today? Okay. Speaking from a Nigeria point of view, I am disappointed because the first half, the coach got his tactics right. He was playing, on the paper he was playing 3-4-3, three, four, three, four, three. but later he, he switched to 5-2-2-1. Two, two, so he was defending and allowing them to balloon the ball to Oshime. Yes, that tactics worked perfectly well in the first half, but in the second half, everyone were pushing further. They allowed Edingra to come forward and they allowed uh, Siri to, to be on the defenders and then uh, Steven Kessie was also pushing for it. So I expected him to switch to 4 4 3, but still he wasn't doing that. So he lost us the game. But looking at Ivory Coast starting at third place, losing almost all their matches, and now host and win nation, what do you make of their journey, the Afghan journey? I always tell my friends that this is just. So Malam working for Ivory Coast. Yeah. Seriously, please. And Ghana, we should see the Ivory Coast. Yeah, yeah, Malam, yeah, 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 yeah. we forgot them. Yeah, it's we it's just there. a stone throw away. Yeah, yeah, we forgot them. The GFA forgot them. Go seek that Malam. Then Charlie, yeah. you go win all on our matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> if we do go see the Malam, like what we for take go? <laughs> we will carry some other also follow. <laughs> we just wanted you to gather all the information, and you point on us like anointing oil. Uh, so over to you. Give us the analysis. Let's go. Do you know something? Today, I don't enjoy football, but I love football, and I don't regret that. Seriously. I love football. And I'm saying this because I was putting for Nigeria, uh, for Cote d'Ivoire when they came back into the tournament. After their game with Senegal, the analysis and then, uh, sorry, the formation that the, the coach used, fair. I was like, no, they can go far. And I'm happy to see them lift the trophy today. Do you get it? I always do, I always say in my analysis that coach counts in a field of play. So you think Cote d'Ivoire sacking their coach or replacing their coach played a pivotal role in them carrying the trophy today? Look, I made a statement in, uh, when, when Ghana played with Egypt. I was saying that we should sack with Hilton. He shouldn't coach us for Mozambique's game. I said it. Do you get it? So if Ghana had like taken that bold step to do that, maybe we will be playing uh, the final by today. Do you get it? But unfortunately, GFA and then uh, the Ministry of Sports they know what they want. So this is what they got. But be, let me let me let me take this this chance to go into like a little analysis because see, Nigeria, Jose dos Santos, their coach. He's the same as Chris Hilton. His team was lacking a bit of midfield uh, players. So in his previous games, he was just depend, de uh, depending on his flanks, which was Shukweze and then Lukman Ademole. So coming into this game, 
he came with a formation of 3 4 2 1. And then uh, Nigeria also came, uh, sorry, Cote d'Ivoire also came with 4 3 3. And Cote d'Ivoire was coming to dominate from the midfield, build up through the, uh, um, the flanks, and then cutting courses. When you check Nigeria's previous matches, you would notice that they were getting the chance through match crosses from the flanks. But today, when the Ivory Coast coach was able to know that and then make sure to cut off those crosses, today Nigeria got themselves one thing. Do you get it? So I always say that tactically, tactically, eh, tactics really helps on the field of play. Let me give thumbs up to Adingra. Adingra, right to dream. Player of the match. Right to dream. See, right here in Ghana. Right here in Ghana. And, and, and you know the funny thing? The funny thing is that Ghana, we had two right to dream players. If, if I'm not Kudus and then Adin. Thank you. And then even Noama. But what did we do? We had the boss and then the, the big brain of our people behind our coaches and then the, the, the technical team to bench Noama. But look at this game, this final game between Nigeria. It was Adingra versus Nigeria. It was Adingra versus Nigeria. But we have right to dream here in Ghana. So this is a lesson to the GFA. It's, it's, it's a lesson. It's a lesson. And I'm very, very happy. Kudos to uh, Sadiq Adams that he's going to go on that demonstration because football is something that Ghana should not be left out when they, are, when they want to mention African uh, players in, in FIFA ranking. It should never be. It should never ha happen. Do you get it? So, I mean, Cote d'Ivoire deserves the win. They dominated from their defense, their midfield, to the like, attackers. They did very well. So they, they deserve it. Chairman, yes, we meet again. Yeah, we meet again. What's and you sign the word by And today they're going they to come for me, but we did sign. No, yeah. But what do you think? Did you ever imagine Ivory Coast winning the after? I told my guys, right? After they qualify as one of the third best the place teams, I told my guys, this boat, they yeah, give me uh, Portugal 2016 Euro, Euro vibes. They will go to, they, if they win the, 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 the finals, they go take them. And you see, when I when I hear people making certain arguments about experience with coaches and stuff, they funny me. You have to, Okeku is telling me that he was a coach who has 15 years of experience. This guy's first, his first ever coaching coaching uh, job was 2021 at Clement Foot, that team B. Fast forward three years down the line, he's winning the AFCON. You understand me? So you see. In the B, they try. Where they do the host, they read the B me. Where this, this thing they give you, in the tell we say in this life, eh, if the thing they look like it not go happen, just persevere, then do and be glad. Because see, they, they, they score them 4-0. Mm -hmm. The third, the third group, uh, the, the group game. 4-0. Mm -hmm. They go make like 15 buses of, of the Cote d'Ivoire people, the, 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 the buses. Finally, finally, see where they end they take the, they take the, 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 the trophy. Cote d'Ivoire make you tell motivational speaker right now. How you go do them? The team say, who will be the other two? Who for? The time where we win, one of four trophies. 82. Yeah, are just four. Cote d'Ivoire no zero. 82, that's the 42 years ago. Fast forward 42 years down the line. We are just three. You go see what's going on. It's who will be the other two? Who for? Yeah, but then I'm happy for them. I'm happy for them. As I know, we're in there, they'll be me. Oh, my guy. So I'm here in your number I'm a winner. Can you? It's not as Again, yes, one. Hey, don't be on Twitter. Can you ask about anything? As a winner, they do. and Win Nation, Ivory Coast. Did you ever think they were going to carry the AFCON? No. Um, from the start of the tournament, I doubted that they could even go closer to the final. But as the event was unfolding, after the group stage, the way they qualified, and then from the group stage, the way they were playing, you could tell that though, they are, they, uh... Bro, I know you are sad, but take heart, eh? Let's just talk as brothers right now. You forget that Nigeria lost. Eh? And tell me how you feel right now. Oh, I feel sad. Oh, I thought, I said forget the sadness. I feel sad. I'm not happy at all. Why? Oh, bro. See, see, what, what are they wearing now? What are they wearing? What are they wearing? You are representing your country proudly. For, as a Ghanaian, they are fine. I'll be okay. Yeah. But I did not add the support Nigeria make them win. Yeah. Can you tell us why? You had so much hope that Nigeria was going to carry the cup. Why did you have that hope? No, Ghanaians are criticizing Nigerians for winning this truck. So I was going for Nigeria. That's where yeah. Ghanaians don't want Nigerians to take their fourth you know you understand. So we draw to be draw. We are reading them, they're the same country. They're here. That'd be why. So, me, if you're Nigerian, 
I go for Nigeria. Yeah. Sorry, uh, sorry once again. Uh, it shall be well. Three years to come. Three years, three years. Oh, sure, sure. But Ghana, therefore, never, never, never. Oh, you think Ghana will never win? It's poor, bro. It's poor. Ghana will never win the AFCO. So when? Maybe till, till Christ, till Christ come. Sale, you are speaking out of sadness. You, you, chairman. The game is finally over, yeah. and it's host and win for Ivory Coast. Yeah. How do you feel? I know you are Ghanaian, but how do you feel? Oh, actually, I was hoping for Ivory Coast to take the cup. Yeah, because so dream come true. Yeah, dream come true. Yeah, today the today, today the just one origin, man. Just one origin, Charlie. <laughs> one origin, man. Eh? Yeah, one origin to cool down. Yeah, Charlie. Ivory Coast played their best. Nigeria came with fire, but overall, did the match meet your expectation? Oh yeah, this is the best like finals I've ever watched. Trust me, like it was more than African game. Trust me. Yeah, but like I wasn't like I never needed Nigeria to even win this. Yeah. Oh my brother, why? They are brothers. No, 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 no. Nigeria Niger and Ghana. Oh. Look, Ghanaians, we have like um, four Afghans, right? Uh -huh. Nigeria has three. three yeah. So if they had another one. Who like will be equal, uh -huh. and you know we've been debating for Ghana Jollof and Nigeria Jollof. Like for that one, they will take Kiwi. Uh -huh. And besides this, earlier this morning I saw something on Twitter. They was like, um, Ghanaians didn't see this coming. They see this. They will spell it in cities. Uh -huh. So I just saw something on Twitter right now. Then Ghanaians are also saying Nigerians didn't see this coming. Even manifest made that tweet right now. Ah yeah yeah yeah. So you see, for that one there, yeah, Charlie, I'm happy for Half Coast here. Yeah. They should win here. Yeah. Ivory Coast, the winning, host and win, pa. Host and win, pa, pa, pa. From third place and Komu Yefim, no more Barbie, we need Afcon. Chairman, who homogeneity in us? No credit, I mean, I have to qualify for knockout stage. Now, to me, I'm say the weakest team. Ah, the next match, I'm not down for Cote d'Ivoire, my friend is old. The next game, I'm not going to be Ghana, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm not determined to be a host and win, I'm not going to be a I'm going to you, Juma. Eti, in the match, no, did you ever think Sanka Nigeria be winning? You almost share first goal. I'm right. Nigeria share first goal. No, who said Nigeria coach no about tactical game? Oh, who said they are good for any depression? Be sure, so. And so, I'm almost stay back. No, I'm going to go and come and defend it. But good uh, for team no we say no until the 90th minute. No, I'm going to enjoy fighting. And so, I'm going to fight here until say I'm going to win in goal. You're not Nigerian, are you? No, I'm Michael. You're Nigerian? No, I'm Ghanaian. Oh, you're Ghanaian? Yeah. Okay, okay. But what do you make of the whole 97 minutes played, Ivory Coast versus Nigeria, today's match? Uh, the game was very interesting. It's final, and I'm very grateful for Ivory Coast because they host and they win. And I can say Frank Kese and uh, Fufana, they lead their team very well. They did a great job. They did a great job. So I'm very happy for them. Chairman, how about you? Did you think Ivory Coast was going to win the after? Yeah, I was. I was very certain that they, from like from the the match they debuted uh, Senegal, mm -hmm. I knew they were going to win the trophy. Oh, right after they took the, the, the defending toughest. champions. Oh, right. The, Senegal was the toughest team in the in the in the, in the tournament, uh -huh. and when they when they, they, they were able to like score them, uh -huh. I knew they, 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 they were going to win it. Really? Yes. Because they were losing, no third place best. Uh, yes. If you look at Ivory Coast, their team, eh, like let's say from, from the beginning, things were like they they are lining up and things were not like going well with them. But when they start the the white coach mm -hmm. and they, they brought this guy in, you saw like everything was good. Look at the, their players. If you go to Europe, most of their players, they, they are players, they are playing top top teams in Europe. Mm -hmm. Almost all the in this in this African, I can I can boldly say that this Ivory Coast team, they have like more players that, that are playing top teams in, in Europe than any other country. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it was a coach problem. It so when a, they yeah, sacked the yeah, coach, yeah, you, you knew was, they were going to win. I, I knew they were going to win. They were going to win the trophy. Wow. Yes. You didn't think Nigeria was going to win. No, 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 Nigeria. Your own brothers. Even, even no, I, I know Nigerians like as a Ghanaian, I know Nigerians they are just like our neighbors. But even though we have countries in between us, but like I like I, like, I love Nigeria. But from what I saw, like uh, in that, uh, this one, I recall in the guard game, I knew these people were going to win it. Right. You watch the match, full 97 minutes. Yeah, yeah. What do you make of the play from Ivory Coast and Nigeria? Oh yeah, um, me personally, I've predicted from the beginning, even before the match started, that Ivory Coast are going to win. And you could see from the match that when Nigeria was winning, they were just like, I mean, they thought they were winning already. So 
they were giving out chances and their keeper was also like I mean falling off, let me say. So you could see that Avricos came back fully effective and then they they dominated the second half of the game and then the result they have achieved today. So you didn't have in your head any doubts that Ivory Coast was going to win? Not at all. Upon no. all the good play Nigeria has made throughout the AFCON journey, you still thought the third place best, Ivory Coast, yes. was going to win the AFCON? Yes, 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 yes. Because how they managed to, how they managed to uh, eliminate the, the defense, yeah, yeah, so once they, they have managed to eliminate Senegal, I, I said it that day that oh, Ivory Coast is going to win. And today, today, I posted my status like, 145 that Africa is going to win this tournament and then here they are. So I'm, I'm super proud of them. Right. I supported them from, from the very beginning that they are going to win. So what he has said from beginning of the match now see Africa is very winning. I didn't hear. Ah, what's the tournament piano? Usha, what me who performance no the way I'm up on. Who's the beginning no I'm up on. But just say I'm going to try some better. But Nigeria no lack no more than you. Who say one shot of target no money no money share go no? And yes, I'm up above being no money win here. So until I am, I believe say Africa is better winning. It is a say I know when you just say Nigeria and Africa number West Africa, and now I'm win here and it can and draw four four African caps. Any mom there many Nigeria because me me both from Nigeria. Now can we say Nigeria win the cup? Go make party office one. Wow, sure. And see, I'm win no, but. Any Africa, so you share border, so you be on many other both countries. 